Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. I uh, want to uh, actually, my wife and a friend of ours also had sent us uh, information regarding Israel planning on banning uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ in Israel. Uh, it was actually on Hal Turner, I think it's uh, Sister Marcia that sent that to us. Uh, but uh, and then my wife also did the research to see if we could find uh, supporting evidence. She found this article here on All Israel News exclusive. Two Knesset members proposed legislation to outlaw sharing the gospel in Israel and send violators to prison. Could it become law? Now, granted, this is not law as of yet. And of course, uh, as I was preparing the broadcast, I know Yana is also working on a broadcast over on Odyssey uh, in regards to this right now. And I found on Haaretz, this just came out hours ago, evangelical Christians urged Netanyahu to scuttle ultra-Orthodox bill banning Christian proselytizing. Uh, excuse me, proselytizing. The law particularly names Christians, but would apply to anyone trying to convince someone to change their religious beliefs. Evangelical backing is crucial, according to the Netanyahu and his allies, as American Jews grow increasingly critical of Israel's right, rightward turn. Goes on to say, uh, the leading evangelical Christians are publicly urging Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to scuttle the legislation introduced by ultra-Orthodox members of, the, of his coalition that would punish Christians' attempts to solicit conversions with imprisonment. The legislation introduced by United Torah Judaism, M.K. Moshe Gafani and Yaakov Asher would apply to anyone who would attempt to persuade someone from changing their religious beliefs. The legislation, however, specifically notes that the attempts of missionary groups, mainly Christians, to solicit con uh, conversions of religion have increased. Uh, this is one of the things, uh, and it's kind of funny if you think about it, because as we look over to, in this article here, uh, on The Guardian, evangelical Christians flock to, uh, to Republicans over support for Israel. Uh, people like that of uh, John Hagee, who are clearly, have said in times before, that the Jewish people don't need Jesus. They've already got Yahweh. A uh, <laughs> little bit of an awkward way, right? Powerful voting bloc uh, looking to back pro-Israel politicians in hopes of dictating policy that fits their theological views. When Israel's former ambassador to the U.S. said this, his country should should worry less about what American Jews think and con uh, concentrate on Christian evangelicals as the backbone of support for the Jewish state, he had in mind the Texas Mega church pastor John Hagee. Hagee founded Christians United for Israel, a group that claims 11 million members who have had a significant influence on Republican Party politics and hardening Washington already strong support uh, uh, for Israel. President Donald Trump made no secret of his desire to keep Hagee and Christian Zionist voters happy as a key part of his base by abandoning even the pretense that the U.S. was neutral player in the resolving the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. So, you know, the thing is, is more and more evangelicals are backing Israel, and more and more they're calling for support of Israel. And of course, you know, we certainly support Jewish people, but what's happening in the country has turned into a theocracy. In fact, if you go back, uh, Yana, the other day when we did the article or did the broadcast the other day, uh, she mentioned this article here, The Resurrection of Christian Antisemitism, back from 2020. And this, in this particular article here, they talk about me as well. But what's really interesting is when they talk about me here, uh, they actually say that Stephen Benoon, founder of Israeli News Live, claims to be a Jewish believer in Jesus. His daily YouTube posts regularly include rants against the Jewish state, Christians who stand with it. And according to Benoon, Israel has made a pact with the beast, the Antichrist, in order to build a third temple where the country, to his interpretation of the New Testament, blood sacrifices will be reinstituted. Claiming fluency in Hebrew, he uses Bible to assert that Israel today seeks to establish a theocratic state. Wow, what do you know? A theocratic state in which Christians would be headed for their belief in Jesus. Well, the theocracy 
has actually come to pass. Interestingly enough, two years later, now Netanyahu is definitely setting up a theocracy in Israel. And if they get their way and they put in the seven Noahide laws, which I believe will actually come into place where they'll look for the fulfillment of Isaiah 52, where it says the law will come out of Jerusalem. Well, if that be the case then it would bring about the beheading of Christians because the seven Noahide laws in the Talmud do call for the beheading of Christians. So it is a very serious, very dangerous situation that we're looking at this happening in Israel right now. And yet many Israelis are totally against what's going on. They're not interested in a theocracy. They're not interested in the end of democracy as what they had come to know as democracy, but rather they have protested with everything within them to stop Netanyahu and his right-wing government from totally uh, obliterating the country's democracy stand and the freedom of religion that it does have. And even that is somewhat limited in Israel. But there's never before been laws on the book talking about the imprisonment of Christians for sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ in the country. However, if you do share the gospel of Jesus Christ in the country right now, you know, it doesn't take much to get yourself escorted out of the country. You'll be asked politely to stop. But if the Jewish people complain about that, you could be escorted back to the airport and sent home. All right. I know that myself. I live there. I know how it works. Uh, but nonetheless... Uh, some crazy stuff going on right now. Can you believe it? I mean, the Knesset members actually proposing legislation to outlaw sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ in Israel. You know, I tell you what. And yet, still, the, poor, the support pours in like never before. You know, I'm not against uh, the Jewish people having a state. I certainly understand that. But to just support unequivocally, doesn't matter what is done by the Israeli government, that becomes a problem. It even becomes a problem for the Jewish people living in Israel. Think about it like that. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live.